I think the hardest thing to do is to get people out of their silos and out of the way they've been trained to be successful oftentimes. We are going to have nine billion people on this planet. How are we going to feed them? How are we going to have sustainable energy for them? What are they going to do for a living? You know, I come from the world of social media, so it's way more fun for me to have a discussion than to talk at people. From food, from wine, from tech. When you bring all those folks together, you learn a lot. Part of what you have to do is change the mindset and the perspectives of the people saying no. The opportunity to get together with top thought leaders across so many different businesses and segments has been remarkable. And so a, 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 a day like today, when you're bringing together all of these people from different worlds with different expertise and different sense of how we can work together is a tremendous opportunity for me because it's bringing in things that I wouldn't be thinking about otherwise and people I wouldn't be talking to otherwise. And, and this event is a really cool way to try to do it. Let's dig in and have real conversations about the innovations that we need to create a better world, right? How we live, how we eat, how we educate. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you three incredible leaders. I think bringing people together in this environment where you have a few sort of keynote uh, panels and then you have discussion groups that you can kind of choose uh, to participate in, I think the exchange of ideas has been really exciting um, from guys that are working in the tech company, tech world uh, with startups, uh, the, the dot coms to media companies to education to environmental impact, uh, banks, uh, wineries and of course great chefs. I mean you're bringing all that stuff together and kind of bringing everyone together, shaking it all up and seeing what happens. But I think the dialogue has been really exciting you know, from so many different disciplines and just to have this open discussion about where we see the future. What's beneficial about a summit like this? If you get the right mix, you can have such a heterogeneous group of people that come together. You know, that's how some of the real magic happens. When you're surrounded by uh, Sonoma County and the beautiful scenery, creative juices are flowing, a lot of great ideation, making new friends, connecting with old friends, really good time. The president of MGM Television and Digital, Mark Burnett. Specialists will become employees forever. Generalists start empires. But everybody's approachable, having a ball. It's a, it's a fabulous event. Can't wait to come back next year. It's, it's really kind of bold and innovative. It's a great way to bring different types of people together from different disciplines in, a, in an incredible setting. Well, I think there's an idea around understanding failure. And we need to encourage good failure, which doesn't mean you weren't prepared. It doesn't mean that uh, you didn't execute with excellence. It meant that the idea didn't connect, and that's okay. I think that whether it's diversity or gender, the more different views that you have represented in the room or in a discussion or in a decision, the better off you're going to be. I like the meeting of a minds that is in a setting that is beautiful uh, and comfortable. Out of the sort of the rat race hustle bustle, I love that bringing different people from different walks of life together, but all having a shared common passion around learning, talking, understanding, and sharing. And then combining some of these things that are a part of it, which is food and drink and conversation, because that's how we all live, that's how we communicate. Some of the best stories are told, best times are had over a great meal or a beautiful glass of wine. Is reconnecting and making new connections that lead to productive, fascinating, world-changing collaborations.